Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video we will be having summation notation. But before we go there, let's talk about series first. So series is a sum of terms in a sequence. So if we are given here a sequence, if we are going to add its terms like this, then this is what we call a series. The summation notation is a convenient way of writing series. The Greek letter sigma is used to indicate sum. So ito pang ating Greek letter, sigma. So we also call a summation notation, sigma notation. In summation notation, ito po ang ating function. Ano ba ang ginagawa sa function? Nagsasubstitute ka dyan. So we have here n, which is the index of summation, that will be the variable kung saan ka magsasubstitute. Pero ano ba yung mga isasubstitute mo? You are going to substitute the numbers from the lower limit to the upper limit. So kung mapapansin nyo dito, 1, yun yung unang na substitute until k, which is the upper limit. So let's see, tingnan natin kung paano to. Find the sum of the first four terms of a sequence whose general term is given by a sub n is equal to 2n plus 1. So the problem is asking us to add the first four terms of the sequence given this formula. To do that, we just have to get this general term. Yan po ang magiging function natin. Since we are adding the first four terms, Yung lower limit natin is 1, and yung upper limit natin is 4. So, apat na terms yan, yan yung first, second, third, and fourth term. So, anong gagawin dito? We are going to replace n consecutively with the numbers from the lower limit to the upper limit. So, anong ginawa ko lang dito? I replaced n with 1. Next, inad ko ulit yung function, pero I replaced n with 2, and then 3, and then of course, the upper limit, which is 4. So after substituting, you simplify mo na. Uh, simplify further until you get the sum, which is 24. So if we are going to add the first four terms of the sequence with this general term, the answer will be 24. So now, let's try to evaluate summation notation. Write each in expanded form, then find its value. So, ano ulit ang gagawin? We have to copy the function, but we are going to replace n with the numbers from the lower limit to the upper limit. So, unahing isubstitute si 1, plus, next na isubstitute is si 2, hanggang sa umabot kay 6. After that, you just have to simplify. And just add. So the answer here is 105. Let's try the next one. Same din lang procedure. Substitute mo kung ano man yung nasa lower limit hanggang sa upper limit. So ang lower limit natin ay 5. So we will substitute starting from 5. Okay. Of course, ano ba ang sunod na number sa 5? It's 6. And we are going to stop at 7 kasi yun ang ating upper limit. Now we simplify, 5 cubed is 125 minus 1. 6 cubed is 216 minus 1 plus 7 cubed is 343. Actually, pwedeng idiretsyon na i-minus na yung 1. Pero sige, let's do it step by step. And so if we are going to add all this, the answer is 681. Now, let's have our last example. So, I'm sorry, this should be k kasi yung ginamit na variable dito is k. So, yung index of summation dapat is k. So, what are we going to do here? We're just going to um, substitute 2 to the function. Oh, so, dalawa lang na terms ang pag add natin dito. Next is 3 since 3 is the upper limit. Now, 2 raised to 3 is 8, 2 plus 1 is 3. We have here 3 raised to 3 is 27, that's 4. 
So how do we add fractions with uh, different denominators? We have to get an LCD, and the LCD here is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 8 is 32. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 3 times 27 is 81. If we are going to add 32 and 81, that will give us 113 over 12. So, yan po mga anak ang ating sagot. 113 over 12. So, thank you again for dropping by. Um, I know that uh, evaluating summation notation is very easy. The difficult part is that when you don't know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide, especially kung na involved na yung fractions. So, very easy ang process. But I know na most of you magkakamali sa operation. Pero sana hindi. Thank you again and please leave a comment below. I want to know your thoughts kung may natututunan ba kayo or wala. So yun po.